You are welcome to GST 104. I am Dr. Angela Ibelokmala. I will be taking you through module 3, unit 2, library classifications. Let's look at the introductory parts. Why do we really need this library classification? For the effective use of library resources, organization of such resources is important for easy retrieval. One way of organizing library resources is by cataloging, which was discussed in Module 3, Unit 1. Another way of organizing library resources is through classification, which we will be looking at. Now, what is uh, classification? Classification is the act of grouping like documents together, basically according to their subject, content, and forms in which they may appear. The importance of library classification. Why do you really need to classify books? One, to increase the utility of library resources to their optimum. Two, to save library users time. Let's now look at the different types of classification schemes. The first is basically there are about six types of classification scheme. But these five are popularly used. The first is Library of Congress classification scheme. The second Dewey classification scheme. The third Universal Decimal classification scheme. Bliss classification scheme and column classification scheme. Now let's look at the Library of Congress classification scheme. This scheme is the most popularly used scheme around the globe and is basically used by academic libraries. For example, National Open University of Nigeria Library uses this particular scheme. Library of Congress classification scheme consists of 21 classes A to Z. The scheme is based on the collection of Library of Congress in the United States. It uses mixed notation, which means it uses both letters and numbers. It also uses quarter numbers to further classify their documents. Quarter numbers are special numbers given to individual authors. The notations and quarter numbers together form the class mark or call number of a book. Let's look at a typical example of a book classified with LC. Well, we are not expected to know in detail how to classify a book because we perhaps will not end up being a librarian. But the essence of this is for you to know the codings being used in different libraries, like I earlier mentioned. Now, a typical book classified using the Library of Cong Congress classification scheme will have its class mark or call number as follows. For example, you have the title, Understanding Policies, Ideas, Institutions, and Issues by Thomas M. Matt Dart. The class mark will be JA66.M33-2011. And it will be arranged the way it is arranged. Now, the first two lines, that is the Library of Congress class mark, the dot M33 is the uh, special number for the author, which is marked that. Then 2011 is the date of publication. The class mark is found at the spine of every book in the library or at the left upper side of a book. Please kindly refer to your courseware for LC main classes. There are other classification schemes like I earlier mentioned, but we are not just going to look into them in details. I will just mention them. You have the Dewey classification scheme, then Universal Decimal classification scheme, which I have earlier mentioned. Universal Cla uh, Decimal classification scheme is based on Dewey classification scheme, so they are very similar. Bliss classification scheme is faceted. And there are two of such, Bliss Classification Scheme and Colon Classification Scheme. In conclusion, 
you are advised to refer to your courseware for a comprehensive listing of the main classes of all the classification scheme.